Hello and welcome to Wild for Crochet and in this video I'm going to be doing the muzzle for Wiffles the dog. So the pattern says chain six. So what we're going to do is get our sister slip knot first and to do that we're going to just get the yarn like this. So you're taking the yarn and doing a loop and so that this bit crosses over in front and then we take the yarn and we just push it through like that and put our hook on and you have your slip stitch. I'll just do it once more. So there's the end of the yarn and we're going to make a, a loop we're going to put the yarn through the middle and we just get our hook and then tighten that a bit and we've got our slip stitch. Now we have to chain six for this pattern. So to do that, we just grab the yarn and pull it through the loop on the hook. That's your first chain. And again, Grab the yarn, pull it through the loop on the hook, that's two. Grab the yarn, just pull it through, that's three, four, five, six. And you'll notice while I'm doing that, I'm moving my thumb up the foundation chain just so it's easier to, to hook the yarn. Okay, so pattern says to place a stitch marker in the last chain. So we're gonna do that now, I've got my stitch marker. So we're not putting it on the loop that's on the hook, we're putting it on the first chain from the hook. So we do that and from the beginning from the second chain from the hook so that's this one there's your first one that we've just put the marker in and this is the second chain from the hook we have to do four double crochet so we're going to do a double crochet that single crochet in US terms do a, a double crochet as usual as normal that's our first double crochet. We're going to do that again in the next chain. That's two double crochet. And hopefully you can see that I'm putting my hook just underneath that top piece of yarn there. That's three. And that's four. And the pattern says two double crochet in the next stitch. This helps get you to the other side of the foundation chain. Because we're going to be working around this chain, that increase in the next stitch just makes that a bit easier to do. So we're going into our next stitch, our next uh, foundation chain, sorry, and we're going to put two double crochets in that same chain there and that just helps us to get round to the other side of this foundation chain. Okay so on the other side of the foundation chain you have to work four double crochet with two double crochet in the last stitch. Okay so when you're working your double crochet on the other side here just watch that you don't actually go into this stitch here that's actually this you'll see that that's the same stitch the same chain sorry that you've just worked in you want to start in this one this one here so not in this one because you've just been working in that one you want to start 
and this one. Okay, and again we're working in that top loop there. So we're going to do our four double crochet now. So this is our first double crochet on this side of the chain. That's one. That's two. That's three. And four. And we're going to do two double crochets in this next one. The one with the stitch marker in it. That's one. And again in the same stitch. That's two. Okay, so once you've done your four double crochet and two double crochet in the last stitch, what you want to do is get this stitch marker and just take it out of there now and move it over to the stitch, the last stitch that you've just done. Like that. And that just helps you keep your place. So that's what it should look like at the moment. That's you working around the foundation chain. Okay, so as we know from the previous video, an increase means we're putting two stitches in the one stitch. So I'm going to just start doing that. So that's 12 increases we need. So this is me on the first one. That's one. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. This is eight. If you haven't seen my previous video, you can have a look at that if you need to know how to do an increase. Uh, that one shows you me doing it a little bit slower. And I'm doing it here. You'll find that on the Woofles part one video. Eleven and into the last. stitch of the round and that has done our 12 increases and I'm going to move the stitch marker to the last stitch of the last round and then round three to round seven is just DC double crochet all around um, so that's rounds three to seven you're just going to do a double crochet Around these stitches here. 